swore I'd come to see you. I'm sorry for what I've done. There has been many sins in the past, but I'm trying to make amends. I promise, Jose. I thought you had him selling weed for you. Don't tell me he's still working at this loser ass place. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's supposed to be thinking I'm keeping you off his ass. <laughs> but don't worry about that. He's selling that shit for me, though. I never seen this much weed when I was in high school. You must have been running with them maricas. <laughs> Losers. Fuck up, man. Hey, are you on the right path now? It's cool. It's cool. The woman's death looked like an accident. Accident? You only said it should be handled personally, and that's what I did. She was connected to the senator. It is messy. I didn't know she was connected. I would have done things differently. Okay. I'll give you that. I want this contained. No media. Nothing can get in the way of the election. We have got him this far, and I do not want it to unravel. NASA says the moon rocks have no market value, but some samples have been offered for sale on the black market for prices up to $5 million. Thad Roberts returned to the Johnson Space Center with his own space mission to sell moon rocks. Even though he hadn't stolen them yet, it didn't stop him pressing Axel Emmerman to buy. According to his fellow co-ops, the ambitious young man who would later steal NASA's moon rocks seems similar to many other aspiring astronauts. But while spending a semester in a lab on the floor below the vaults, Thad Robb has discovered an easier cache of moon rocks to steal. I asked Thad and KD to stay by the door while I went and opened my safe where the samples were stored. When you were seven years old, were you punched in the face by your parents because you asked for help with your homework? How about this? When you were nine years old, did you and your little brother have to learn to eat out of dumpsters behind restaurants because your parents spent the grocery money on drugs? In case those are not perfectly good examples as to why I'm not all lovey-dovey about my mother then let me leave you with this one. When you were 14, were you pinned down by your drugged out parents as they took turns beating you and raping you with a broomstick because you were protecting your little brother from them? I don't think so. I might not be the nicest person in the world, but I am a survivor. They weren't able to take that from me. You beat him! I'll not take this shit from you, Cynthia! Sit down! You will hear me out. You owe me and my son that much respect. Fine. I'll hear you out. But I'm not gonna let you tell me how I feel about Antonio. I love him, and I have to prove nothing to you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to hurt him. It's just that I lose control. You need to control yourself. My son loves you. You will never, ever find anybody that loves you as much as he does. You are his heart. <laughs> 